we are with the boys at DMS Wood Flooring. He's actually got it on the back of his hoodie. And uh, we are laying laminate, and Jack's going to teach you how to lay laminate flooring. This is pretty straightforward because you know I'm skirting down deeper. I've always put my dummy board in, and just run it in the groove. Yeah. And that will give you that your cut to the ripper cut. Why is yeah. it a ripper cut? Because it's just a rip on the It's a rip, it's not a full board. Oh. When you ain't got a full board, it's called a rip. Just take the measurements. Leave your 10 mil. Yeah. Yeah, that's five. All right here, yeah, five. Five and a half. And there's your three points for your ribbon So when you're doing that now though, you've got to cut the right edge of the, you've got to cut yeah, the right you, side of the board. Yeah, you've got a big tongue here. Yeah, you know, yeah. You want your no tongue, because this is a slap down. So that's 90, but you need your 10 mil gap, so. 89, off your little edge. Square that off with your square. And then take your measurements. So the first one was five. Five and a half. Five. Take your board. Line them off. So yeah, with that you can, there's only half a mil, half a centimetre in that, from that one to then. So I would just go straight through the middle and just go here. Ryan, would you be able to cut this from me quickly? Have you got any tips for cutting laminate? Have I got any tips for cutting laminate? If you have a neat edge, you have to come from underneath. Ah. Obviously they do chip, but no skirtings on, so it's going to cover the chips anyway. So. That's absolutely fine. There we have the ripper. Oh, yeah. the ripper. oh, cheers for that, bro. Thanks, mate. Have a look at the cut. That's how you do your ripper cuts. What are we doing now, Jack? This is just marking the end cut, but this is these are very easy to like even for you if there's a cameraman. Do you reckon I'll be able to do it even though no, I'm just the cameraman? You could you can do it. What I do is I just flip it around, big tongue on big tongue, give me my 10 mil gap. No, on. so you want the big time on the big time. Yeah, mark on the joint. Once when I flip it round, now that's my cut. And that'll pop in there. It just saves you having to get a tape measure out. Even though I've got one out, it just it's quicker. Yeah. And watch your into your long joint first, because that just makes your life easier. And once you're fully in, you can use a knocking block if you want, but with these, because you've got nothing to stop it, unless you've got a couple of wedges in, which you can put in. You don't really use a knocking block. She's good to go. Get a PVA in there, maybe. Start with a full one there. Join. I don't like my joints matching up. So what I'll do is I'll either find a short starter, or I'll just randomly take that off it. Another tip for laying laminate, you always want to be on the floor really. It's easier to pull your balls in oh, okay. than to push them in. So I'll, I'll get a bit of pressure on here, long length in. Yeah, to make sure. I sometimes give them a slide as well because that just helps it groove out a bit. Push it up, literally. Simple as that. And that's a row down. Nice and awkward little cut, isn't it? Yeah, so so. Not awkward enough for me though. <laughs> a little bit of PVA on these oh. little joints. Just because they can be a bit flappy sometimes. There's not much to them, if you know what I mean. Lovely. And that's pretty much how to lay down that furnace. <laughs> 